What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode where today we're going to be checking out this really, really awesome Hot Wheels 50 pack. Yes, this giant box which is taking up the entirety of the screen is full of Hot Wheels. They're very, very cool. You see in the front here, this is the selection of vehicles that are in this. Really, really happy to have a lot of these in the collection. Uh, especially the, the uh, Toyota there, that looks pretty cool. So we'll get into this and have a look at this as we go through. We have a look at the packaging. You see it has a nice collage of all of the Hot Wheels castings there. You can see it follows it all the way around the entire box. I'll turn this around here. You can see it also goes around the sides, all over the top there. This side here too. And also in the back there, you can see it also in the background there. Um, yeah, we'll have a quick look at this. There's some mumbo jumbo. A little twinning and winning, some extra mumbo jumbo, 50 pack, more mumbo jumbo, and a lot of mumbo jumbo written down there. So you can pause and read that if you want. I'll try and get a little bit of a close up view so you can, there you go, kind of read that a little bit easier. Then go to this side here. Hopefully, got all of that into the screen. Plus there's a barcode there, so hopefully you can find this in your area. And yes, this box is absolutely enormous. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this episode, but we will. what we will do is we will open this up to reveal how it is packaged on the inside. There you go, you can see all of the cars lined up along here. There's another row just below it. Plus there is this front piece here, which is absolutely awesome to display your vehicles on. Might move that out of the way before it falls all over the place. <laughs> because they're all gonna fall all over the place if I'm not very careful. Uh, here we go, it's like a little sandwich board piece, Hot Wheels logo on the top. You can stand this up on your display. Obviously you'll need to uh, put a little bit of tape back over this. I've already previously opened this on a mystery box Monday, but today we're actually gonna go through and see all of the vehicles. So here we go, have a nice quick little look at this while we have it here. What a great range of cars. And what a great way to start a collection. I mean, 50 cars, this is a perfect, perfect birthday present or Christmas present for somebody that loves cars. Oh, I would have loved to have this as a, as a uh, Christmas present. <laughs> All right, inside here, as you see, there is a little layer of cars. There we go, so we'll just pop this over there for the time being because inside I just wanted to show you the rest of the cars there. They're all just laid out, uh, not really very well protected. Not like they used to be a couple of years ago when, they, when I last received one of these packs. This was how they came. All the cars were kind of slid into these nice Hot Wheels boxes, which is really, really good for collectors because none of the cars get destroyed and as you can see there's a few really cool cars in there and they just slide in there I'm not entirely sure how many is in each box but they stopped doing this and this is just such a, a great way to present these cars a very very thoughtful way of packaging I really really wish that they would still do that uh, but instead we just have them kind of thrown into a little box there okay uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull all of these out. We'll move this blue case out of the way. Okay. Uh, we're not going to open a lot of these cars. We're probably not going to open very many at all. This is more just a example of what you can find in this set. Uh, there's a few different style boxes around with different cars on the front. So if you see anything different to these ones here, it is a different selection. Um, I'm going to grab all of these out of the way because we'll go through those in just one second. And we're going to go through here and just see what we have. All right. I will try to go through as fast as possible. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the cars themselves, but I will read out the name in a brief description so it's more just just to get you guys to go to the shops and get them for yourself and get that enjoyment of seeing these for the first time and finding those little details which i love 
Uh, this one here from the Art Car series is the Bully Goat. We've got the Bully Goat written in some pretty cool looking graffiti writing, pretty crazy wheels, nice green and yellow paint job going on there. And this has the N on top. Very, very nice way to start off the series. Number two. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to name the numbers because all the numbers are different. Uh, next up, we have the Shelby Cobra 427 Supercharged in the Hot Wheels Race Team livery. Really, really cool. The recent Hot Wheels Race Team five pack was absolutely fantastic. So this is a perfect addition to that five pack in particular. This one here, the 1986 Toyota van, is just too cool. Really, really awesome looking car. Uh, very excited to have this one here. All the details on the rear there look beautiful. Nice colored paint job and that two-tone effect is really cool too. All the details on the side there. And it comes with lensed headlights. Yes, that is absolutely awesome. Very, very cool. And uh, next we have the 1970 Pontiac Firebird from the Dream Garage series. This is the second release. The first was in white, uh, now in red, looking absolutely stunning. Has those headlight details, a bit of grill detail there. The exposed engine, uh, the chrome interior, and all those racing sponsors on the side there, really cool. Plus we get the rear details as well. Absolute winner of a car, and that card art is absolutely awesome. That looks really, really cool. Now uh, this one's a new one for the year as far as I know. This is the Audi e-tron. Yeah, as I assume that this is an electric vehicle. It's kind of a gun metallic gunmetal grey. Has the front and rear lighting details and badging. So very, very happy for that. Ooh, now we have the Electrac. And this is part of the x Racer series, but this one here is also a glow-in-the-dark car. Yes, the interior of this glows in the dark. So for all you glow in the dark fans, make sure you pick this one here up. Really cool, nice electric design. Very, very nice. Uh, we have the Fast Fish now from the Speed Team series. White with some crazy bright orange wheels. Fast Fish on the front there. You see the engine poking through the bonnet underneath that clear cover. Uh, chrome interior also, wing on the back, a very, very cool car. I have to admit, this one here is actually pretty awesome. We'll chuck that one up the top there as well. Uh, next one, the uh, LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2. Wow, such a long name for this car. But yes, it's a GTR R35 in blue with that really, really cool Liberty Walk body kit. Lens headlights, front badge detail, side Hot Wheels race team livery. Uh, no rear light detail, unfortunately, but wow, that is incredibly cool. That is so cool. Also cool is the McLaren F1 GTR. Retro Racer series, nice shiny metallic silver and orange paint job, nice chrome orange wheels, headlight details, racing stripes, wow, very very cool, nice big wing on the back there, and the casting in the back is pretty nice, even though you don't get the rear light details, the casting itself is absolutely cool. Uh, another one that's pretty awesome is the 2020 Jaguar F-Type from the Turbo series. Very shiny black paint. Comes with the headlight details painted on there. Chrome wheels and some rear brake light details. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking car. Ooh, this one here is also a fan favorite. I know that people love this one too. The Drift Star from the Drift series. Very, very cool paint job. Kind of got your Japanese writing on there and uh, on the side there as well. Not entirely sure what that says, but it possibly says Hot Wheels or Drift or something like that. Very, very cool. Uh, orange window. Just a really awesome looking car. 
very, very nice looking car. And from the last car from the front set is the Ford Focus RS in bright orange with black wheels, a little bit of RS sticker on the side there. Ford badge and some racing stripes over the roof and a little Hot Wheels logo on the rear wing. Yeah, not too bad at all. All right, let's get into this. Yes, the first pile of all of these really, really cool cars. Uh, the Volkswagen Baja Bug, very, very nice. Nice light blue color. Classic colors on the side there as well with the stripes. Some dirty off-road wheels, kind of a sand color. Uh, big bumper bar in the front there. Junk in the roof, that's really cool. Looks like you have a uh, spare fuel can and a boogie board by the looks of it. And the engine sticking out the back there as well. That is awesome. Yes, I do like that. That looks really, really cool. And I like how they added the detail on the top there too. Ah, oh, the Rocket Box. This one's a pretty funny looking car. Uh, from the Compact King series. A uh, little bit of lens headlights on the front there. You can see that's got a clear section for the headlights. Blue and yellow two-tone design. Uh, yellow and white stripe. Half a Hot Wheels logo on this side. Very, very cool. And who knows what's on the other side. It's possibly the other half of the Hot Wheels logo. Uh, blacked out five spoke wheels with the, uh, kind of like a copper colored chrome. Now we have the Velociracer. Yes, that's pretty cool. Yes, it seems to be something like they would have designed for the Jurassic Park movies. Very, very cool. Got the big engine sticking out the back there. Gray steely wheels, nice light blue dinosaur. Uh, half of it appears to be chrome with those bottom jaws. And it also has some dirt around it there too. That is pretty awesome. Big giant engine in the back of that. And a really nice looking design. That's cool. Street Beasts are always a really creative section of cars. So very, very happy for that one as well. Uh, next up we have the 2017 Ford GT, also another favourite casting that I like to collect myself. Has the headlight badge and racing stripe details over the roof. Uh, no rear light details unfortunately, but the casting itself is just an incredibly cool looking car. And yeah, from the Turbo Series, I do quite like the look of that. Uh, now we have the MST Suzuka from the Art Cars Series. This one has the letter I. Uh, has the robot on the front there, looking awesome. And on the side there as well, very Japanese style vehicle. And it's got this crazy looking body kit on the bottom half. Also, big wing. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, now we have the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Very nice, love that red paint. That's a very deep cherry red paint on that. Uh, Toyota badge on the front, blacked out grill, headlight details. It's got the bonnet scoop, sunroof. Wow, off-road, blacked out off-road wheels. And all of the rear details as well. Wow, that is nice. Nicely done. It's also got a bit of black paint on the B pillar. Very, very cool. Next on the list, we have the 2021 Ford Bronco in red with the mud splatter all over the side there. Wow, number one on the side too. Some dirty bead locked off-road wheels. Bronco badging on the front there. And a spare wheel on the back. That looks really, really cool. It's got the black wheel arch covers, the fender flares. And a pretty cool looking card art too. That looks pretty nice in the card art. But once again, a great color. I do quite like the color red, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, wow. The Dimancini Veloce from the Hot Wheels Daredevil series. Wow, this is really, really cool. Nice card art on this one as well. Has a classic styling, kind of like a Lamborghini Mura or something possible from that era blue paint job with all the racing sponsors, Castrol on the top, uh, louvers over the rear, 
steely wheels with a bit of gray trim. It's even got mud flaps and something, something else is inside there. There's also something else inside this packaging that <laughs> we'll just move on because that we don't want to know what that is. We'll just leave that alone. <laughs> All right, let's go to the LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Wow, another Liberty Walk designed vehicle with that crazy wide body kit. This one has a headlight, badging details. Has LB Works just above the headlights. You see those flared arches there. You can see where the rivets are for the flared arches. A very, very cool car. Black 10 spoke wheels. Very nice. Next, we have the Subaru WRX STI from the hatchback series. Red paint, very nice. Now it's got a strange kind of a white, gold and black striping over the bonnet and over the side there. Blacked out wheels with a gold trim. Uh, no headlight or tail light details, just this weird design. Kind of like a mountain range. Not entirely sure what they were thinking on that one. Ooh, I like this one. This one here is the kick cart from the Ride-On series. Nice little go-kart style or golf cart style vehicle. Pretty cool. It's got a jet turbine in the back there. Crazy wheels as well. A very cool looking car. Nice light blue with a dark blue seat and a yellow base. Now we have the turbine supply when this one here is also a glow in the dark car. You see this interior section inside there is also glow in the dark. So once again, all you glow in the dark fans, you have to find this one and pick it up. Very, very cool. Black with blue, black, black transparent plastic with a blue striping, two different types of blue. Very nice. And those X-Racer wheels, that's super awesome. I like that. I like the X-Racer series, very creative. Ah, wow. This is the Automobili Pininfarina Batista. Nice, nice looking car. Nice headlight details on the front there. It's got an extra little silver stripe between the two. Uh, blacked out front splitter. Blacked out wheels. Crazy looking designed car. Seems to have a gold wing style door. And all of the rear lighting details painted up there. License plates also in place there. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorites on these guys because there's going to be quite a few. Uh, now we are up to the Range Rover Classic and this one here is in an Expedition livery. You can see that topographic map style uh, tampon on the side there. Of course that's Expedition there. Land Rover, some other racing sponsors. Some dirty five spoke chromies and a dirty base giving it the dirty brown uh, front bumper and headlights. And the rear as well. Well, that's all nicely painted up on the back there too. Mud studs. Sorry for the focus, but the plastic does not want to allow the camera to focus on that. Uh, this one's also escaping from the blister. So let's just help him out of his little plastic bubble. <laughs> if I can get this guy out. There we go. Very nice looking car. Gives you a bit, much better look out there. You see the grill has headlights plus the spotlights on the front bumper. Uh, these wheels are pretty awesome. They have multiple colors inside them, giving that really cool dirty effect. And if you can see it there, you can see it on this one here, the color change on that. So it's a really, really cool way of doing this casting. And the uh, brown base gives it that really muddy effect Love that, that is really cool. There's better look at the rear and the same tampo on this side. Plus you also get mud splatters up there too. You can see that, yeah, nice teal color. Very, very nice. We'll pop this one just down here for the time being. And move on to the next one, the Track Ripper. Yes, I 
once again, another car which a lot of people really, really like. I like it too. It has the adjustable front splitter. Nice light blue paint job. Spoiler alert on the side there. And some uh, light green metallic wheels. Uh, yellow interior and a yellow window by the looks of it. And a big racing wing on the back there. Very, very cool. All right. Going to have to move on a little bit quicker because we're going to run out of time. Ooh, wow, this is beautiful. This is the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR LBWK Liberty Walk version from the J Import series. Nice headlight details on front there. Get the exposed front intercooler. Black fender flares with the tiny blacked out five spoke wheels. Liberty Walk on the back there. Uh, door handles painted up also. Liberty Walk on the window banner. Wow. And uh, no rear lighting details, but you can see that it's got some pretty crazy angled lights in the back there. That's awesome. And the exhaust there as well. That is pretty cool. And there's also a super treasure hunt version of this one here, I do believe. So keep your eyes open for that. Next, we have the Honda Super Carb. Very, very cool. This is kind of like your postman bike uh, here in Australia. Quite a lot of our Australia Post posties ride around on these. Very nice to have one as an actual collectible. Yeah, pretty cool. Silver and black plastic body with a red seat and some three spoke wheels with some red chrome trim. Pretty nice. Very simple, but very nice still. I do quite like the look of that. Ah, oh, yes, the mod rod with the broken promises livery. This is an absolute winner. How cool is that? From the Rod Squad series there. Has that chrome front grill, radio grill. Gray five spoke wheels, the engine poking out of the bonnet and the sides. That really, really cool. Broken promises livery. That is such an awesome looking car. And the big wheels on the back there. Ah, uh, yes. Love the card art on that too. That is stunning and also has the Broken Promises thing on the front there. I think that's what it is. Either that or it looks like a snake. Not entirely sure. All right, let's get this box out of the way because that's taken up too much room. And we'll go through these last two cars and then we'll get onto the last lot of cars in the box. Uh, this one here from the Hot Wheels Drift Series is the Falcon Livery 95 Mazda RX-7. Beautiful white 10 spoke wheels. Love that light green to light blue fade. All the racing sponsors on the bonnet there and on the side. Just the way this car's done. I love the fade paint job and the Mazda RX-7 is a pretty cool car to see it on as well. Yeah, pretty nice. And finally from that lot, first lot of cars is the 95 Jeep Cherokee. Nice kind of like a translucent green color, like a candy green kind of color. Gray beadlocked off-road wheels. Uh, it's got a bull bar and a winch and all of that on the front there. No headlight details. It does have bonnet vents. And it also has junk in the roof there too. Uh, that's pretty awesome to see. Oh, plus it also has the spare wheel and spare jerry cans on the back there. Plus, it also has stickers all over the window. That is really, really cool. Cherokee there, and a little bit of black striping along the side there as well. All right, let's grab the next lot of cars. I'm kind of just digging into the box now. <laughs> all right, here we go. We have from the Turbo Series, the Cyber Speeder. Very futuristic looking car. This one also has the adjustable front splitter, so you can put it in the up position for the racetrack loop. Red and white color combination, cyber speeder on the bonnet, extra racing sponsors, wing on the back there, and the turbos, the double twin turbos on the back of the car. This would be a great car to use as a base for customs, I do believe. That's really, really cool. I might have to pick up a couple of extra ones of this just so we can actually do that. 
All right, now we have the 2018 Custom Ford Mustang GT Spoiler Alert Series. Has the two different colored wheels, gold in the front, white in the back. Nice livery on the side there. A lot of racing sponsors. A lot of, there's a lot going on with that livery. That's insane. And on the front there, also you can see just how much detail is on that livery. Really, really cool. Big sticker bombed front and uh, has a white interior. Nice big drift racing wing on the back there. And uh, no rear light details, but how cool does that look? That is really cool. Oh, this one also has the adjustable front splitter too. Uh, I'll show you, there we go. There's the little logo, so you can put it in the up and down position for the racetracks. And next up, also from the Spoiler Alert series, is the Track Manga. A very, very nice looking casting. It's a remake, I guess you could say, of the Mad Manga. And the Mad Manga is one of my all-time favorite castings. That's just such a crazy looking car. Uh, this convertible version is still really cool. This one has a blue window, uh, right-hand drive, big wing off the back there, uh, crazy looking rear lights, wide body kit, wide side skirts, and a big giant front pointy, a <laughs> big pointy front end there too. Uh, also has the adjustable front splitter. There we go there. So yeah, for anyone that wants to know whether this will go around a racetrack, yes it will. And they go around there quite fast also. <laughs> Let's grab some more cars. Oh yes, the 1947 Chevy Fleet line from the Rod Squad in the Moon Eyes livery. Yellow and black combination with some extra white stripes in there. Got some chrome striping along the side there for the car's detail. Laced wheels, chrome bumpers, front and rear. That is super awesome. Also has the front window visor. That is a beautiful, beautiful car. Big fan of that car. <laughs> it looks so nice. And yes, go with Moon. Uh, next up, when the camera focuses, is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in the baller livery in white with some red and black baller stickers going on there. Pretty awesome. Something on the front there, number 18, I think so. Uh, off-road wheels, beadlocked off-road wheels. Got the dirt bikes in the back there. Really, really awesome. I do love this casting just for those motorbikes. I think that's a really awesome touch to have in the cars. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the 1968 Dodge Dart from the Art Car Series with these really crazy looking wheels. Blue on the front, yellow on the back. A big Dodge in a carnival style livery. Something that you might see at the circus. Uh, this also has a U on the top. Uh, yellow interior, red car, lots of color. Chrome bumpers front and rear. That is absolutely insane. I love that. There you go, there's the card art for that too. That looks really cool. <laughs> um, I also believe that this says Charger on the opposite side of the car. Up next, we have the Ford Mustang Mark E1400 in red. And it has Ford Performance on the side there. Uh, not much in the way of detail on this. Kind of a blacked out front grill section there. Uh, big crazy canards on the front wing. <laughs> oh, it's insane. I'll try and get this camera to focus a little bit better so we can kind of see that. There you go. I hope you guys can see the crazy looking front wing section there. Big, huge racing wing. Also has Ford Performance on the roof there as well. Blacked out wheels. And uh, not too much in the back there. Just a lot of diffuser and racing uh, ventilation parts and such like that. That's pretty awesome still. Still pretty awesome. All right, what have we got next? Ooh, this is pretty cool. This is also another casting that I do quite enjoy. This is the Fast Gasson from the Hot Wheels Metro series. I uh, love this era of design for these vehicles. The, the cab itself looks incredible. And the uh, stacks out the side there. Look at the exhaust stacks there. Just insanity. And this one here is the Hot Wheels Metro Racing Fuel. The big chrome fuel tanker. Really, really awesome. 
do like the look of that. It's got the red uh, wheel arches, chrome grill, an incredibly cool looking casting. I think this is an incredibly underrated casting. Uh, I hope you guys do see the, the awesomeness in that and buy some for yourself because they do release that quite often in the Hot Wheels line, so you'll always be able to find one. And they always look absolutely awesome on display with your other cars. Uh, from the Hot Wheels Metro series, we also have the Loco Motorin. And this is a big, crazy looking train car. <laughs> uh, there's no face on the front here. Uh, this was also released as a Thomas the Tank Engine vehicle, uh, which had the Thomas's face on the front there. So it kind of looks a little bit funny without that on there now. Uh, it's got black engine parts and that super chrome body in gold there and some red and black pinstriping along the side and some pretty cool looking OH5 wheels. Nice. Has a copper gold base as well. Very nice. That's pretty cool. This is a plastic body with a metal base and is super fast on track just in case you're wondering that too. Alright, there's not too many left now guys, there's only about five or six left now, so not too much longer. Uh, make sure you uh, put down in the comments which one is your favourite car, because there's quite a few to go through. I uh, know that this one here will be quite a few people's favourites. This is the 94 Bugatti EB110 SS. Nice metallic silver paint job. Aero disc wheels in chrome. Bugatti badge on the front with some lent headlights. Very, very nice. See the engine in the back there and on the back of this one here we have some rear brake lights plus a license plate very very cool such a cool looking car in real life and as a hot wheels oh yes i have to say this is a pretty awesome car this is the classic tv series batmobile this was also released in a black version and this one here is now the blue version Pretty awesome. Uh, the tuned version of the Batmobile is just a really cool thought. <laughs> All those same designs there. I can actually just reach over and grab the black version. <laughs> so there you go, you guys. You can see the difference in color and all the design markings are all exactly the same. Just a little bit of a different color for the car itself. So yeah. Very happy to add that into the Batman collection. Big Batman fan. <laughs> All right. Now we have the 1967 Ford GT40 Mark IV in the white Golf livery. White with the orange striping, number nine on the side, orange chrome wheels, has the lens headlights, number nine with an orange stripe going over the whole car. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And on the back there is the engine exhaust pipes and such sticking out the back there and you can see the engine in there hiding in the back of the engine bay as well very very cool retro racer series is a pretty cool one i will admit all right there's only a few left so i'm just going to grab these out right now there we go and the box is empty <laughs> just in case you were wondering if the box was actually empty all right Let's go through these ones here. Uh, the, from the Baja Blazer series is the Blade Raider. Very nice metallic purple paint job. Has the brown off-road wheels. Uh, racing sponsors on the side there too. On the front there you can see some chrome shock towers. And some red striping or headlights on the front there. Uh, chrome headlights I should say on the front there. More racing sponsors on the top of the vehicle. That appears to be a red window with a chrome interior. And this big, huge wing on the back there too. Very cool looking car. Once again, one of those crazy fantasy designs which actually looks really, really cool. Ah, <laughs> also part of something which is really, really cool is this. This is the Simi Rolling, which is actually a die. Yes, it's a dice. So as you roll it around, when it stops, you can just flip it over and you see what number you have rolled. I do quite like the idea of this. This is just showing how creative Hot Wheels can be. There you go, see the number three, number four. Just really, really awesome. So yes, as you roll it along, 
it will choose a different number. There you go, you can see the dice in the top there as well. And roll seven, you get a free ride in the taxi. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. It's a semi rolling taxi. So there you go, taxi fans. There's another one you can collect for your, for your taxi collections. Next, we have the Sweet Driver. And I'm very happy this one here was in this mix of cars because this is just really, really cool. I love cupcakes. They're so addictive. Very, very... <laughs> and the Donut Driver as well is also another one that I really, really like because I like sweet cakes and stuff like that. It's really nice. It must be a vanilla frosting with some sprinkles. You can get your cherry on the top there too. Wow, this is absolutely awesome. This one here also gets the same color, gold bronze kind of color base as uh, the train did. Yeah, uh, very cool. From the Fast Foodie series. I'm just looking at that going, oh, I really wish that I had a little bit of cake or something to eat. <laughs> All right, there's only a couple of cars left. Let's just get through them. And then I will let you get on with the rest of your day. Uh, from the Retro Racer series is the GT Scorcher and it has uh, Vaughn on the side or C G Vaughn or something like that. I don't know if this is actually based off a real race car. If anybody does know, please put in the comments down below. Uh, let us all know. It's got the crazy front splitter on the front there, kind of like a time attack vehicle. Hot Wheels on the wing. Uh, green and gold colours, so it's very, very cool being an Australian, having green and gold race cars. Yeah. If anybody knows anything more about the livery on this vehicle or the car itself, please put in the comments below. I would love to know. Uh, last two vehicles, the BMW R9T Racer. This is pretty awesome. It's got the chrome wheels. It's got the white top body half and also has the BMW racing stripes and a BMW logo. There you go, there's the card art for that. Pretty cool looking vehicle. That appears to be a metal engine and chassis construction. Uh, this one also has a headlight on the front. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I do not have very many motorbikes in my collection, but I think these two are actually pretty cool to have in, the, in this one box as it is. And the last car we're going to end up, end on is the Coupe Clip. Have to say this one here looks absolutely awesome. That color is just absolutely beautiful. Part of the Experimotor series. This one here turns into a key ring. I'm not entirely sure what vehicle it is based off, but it seems to be somewhere mixed between a Tesla or a, uh, I think it was a Gazella R or something like that, just the Hot Wheels Fantasy casting. If anybody knows exactly what car this is based off, please put in the comments below. There you go, there's the base there. No wheels on this, just an area where you can add on a key ring. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of a very, very, very long, extensive episode. I know I was going to open up a few more of these vehicles, but due to the amount of cars there were, it was just kind of got a little bit out of hand, and I kind of had to just forget that idea as I was going and run through with the 50 cars themselves but we did open this one here so we can't be too upset because we did open up a very very cool land rover yes and there we go the range rover classic the range rover land rover classic there we go i think i'm gonna wrap it up there now thank you for joining me uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe all that jazz and until next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you all then